Good afternoon, everybody. It is Leah and Ryan from Feathers Elite Pigeon Auctions.com. We're here this afternoon with a very special guest that I will have Ryan introduce. Take it away, Ryan. Yes, special guest from Belgium. We had to wake him up. He was sound asleep, but we woke him up and he is here with us. The man, he is well known throughout the world. His pigeons kick ass here in North America. Eddie Grugens, thank you for coming on with us this evening. No problem. You're welcome. <laughs> nice to be How there. Are, and nice to be there. How are everything with you? How is the breeding going? Everything is going good? Breeding is fantastic, yeah. I had a fantastic breeding season so far. I weaned already two rounds of youngsters, about uh, 95. So. so everything's looking good. No sickness. Everything strong, positive, forward. Nothing, nothing. I um, it's been a few years since um, since I had such a good breeding season as uh, as I had in winter time. Yeah. Wow. Also, well, the, of course, the, the temperature were uh, was very very good, and, and the condition of the pigeons was fantastic. So, yeah, then you have a good breeding season, huh? Always. You know? Yeah. yeah. And, hey, for for, for our, our our viewers watching, what are a couple good tips for breeding? What do you really like? Some tips you want to give to people if you could give them on breeding? Because I mean. You, you got 95 youngsters already. So yeah. People are probably already going, holy jumping. He's got a, he's got a good two rounds there. What, what's some secrets that you like to, to use? There are actually no secrets huh? in pigeon sport. There are not many secrets. Huh? That's uh, true. Yeah. I think everything uh, need to be, need to go natural, need to, get, need to go smooth. And, and, and before breeding, I think the, the most important thing before breeding is, is the, the health of the condition and the condition of the pigeons. Huh? Yeah. When, when the condition of the pigeon is not good one month before breeding, don't pair up because then you have troubles. Yeah, that's right. Don't rush it or you're going to have no no success. No, no, no. no. Take, some, uh, take some good care of the pigeons and wait two or three weeks longer before pairing them up until the condition is well. Uh, so when you, pair, when, you, when you mate them, they have to mate immediately. Yeah? When, when they don't pair or you have some problems with pairing with a lot of, a lot of pairs, then the condition is very bad and then you need to take action, of course. Huh? Yeah. A question I had for you, Eddie. If you let's hypothetically say you 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 buy a pigeon from two different fanciers and you go to pair them up and the pair doesn't go together. Mm -hmm. Cock doesn't like the hen, or I mean, even in your own lock, your own bird. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Mm -hmm. What what do you do? Do you force the pair or do you separate the pair? I never force. No. It all has it all has to go smooth because it's also with human people, eh? Yeah. When you mate together, you have to have to have to be smooth. You don't have to be forced to mate together. So I think with pigeons and animals all around, it's just the same. When dogs don't like each other, they don't mate. Eh? Yeah. Well, well, you see, and and I have people here. They talk and they 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 seem like they want to force the pairings mm -hmm. because on paper it looks right. And you know, I, I just asked you. What do you do? You do the same as we do. If they don't like each other, there's no point in putting them together. <laughs> no, it's no, uh, it's no point. I don't think so. No, no, no. I also have a pairing. Right, made a pairing. I bought a cock two weeks ago. Um, I'm trying to mate him up uh, already two times. He doesn't pair up, so you don't need to force him, man, eh, because that's no, it's no use. No use. You got to give it some more time, eh? Yeah, yeah. The cock, the cock doesn't feel well in the loft, probably. So, yeah. And if something like that happens, you don't mind holding the bird for a year or, or giving it some time to adjust? Maybe one year is a little bit long, but I wait till spring. Yeah. Okay. When the temperature is getting a little bit better, then everything is going more smooth in the, in the, in the breeding also. Eh? When, when something doesn't work or you have a hen who doesn't lay eggs, mostly in the spring she, she starts laying again. Yeah, it comes up that bit of temperature, warms up, and away they go. Yeah, correct. Now, I want... Lee, did you have something you were going to Yeah, say? I just uh, wanted to, before we get into these nine amazing lots from you, Eddie, which, by the way, are closing this evening at 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern time. Where do you guys go to bid? FeathersleepPigeonAuctions.com. Why don't you give um, our audience just a little brief overview, overview on um, how you started your racing career, um, how long you've been doing it, and um, maybe just some key highlights from your career? Okay, I can do um started uh, started over in pigeon racing now i think 35 years ago when i was 15 years old um the racing was uh, starting by my grandfather uh, picked up by my father 
And then I um, started in 2035 years ago, which will be uh, yeah, around 1985, something like that. So um, I must say immediately I was very successful. I was in the province of Antwerp, uh, KVDB Youth uh, Championships. I won seven times in a row, seven years in a row, the general championship KBDB uh, from youth. Now, hold, just, just a question, youth. So that means just young people competing. Young people from, uh, but that time we had a lot of young people uh, starting in pigeon sport, of course. Huh? And we talked yeah. about five years ago, it's not, not the actual time. Eh? So, and I won seven years in a row, the, the general championship KBDB from the, oh. from the young people between 15 and 30 years old. And then one of the highlights uh, it was 91. I won the Golden Dive. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then um, 1996, I won my first provincial race. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, won uh, five provincial races uh, so far uh, in Antwerp, province of Antwerp. Yeah. Um, then I was named uh, KBDB Eddie in China. That was my uh, my nickname in China was KBDB Eddie because. <laughs> Uh, in six years, I won uh, seven national ace pigeons KBDB. Wow! Yeah, yeah. So, um, how did they did they did they go? How I created my strain? Actually, my basic pigeons they come from my father and my grandfather. And we talk about pigeons from 1971, 1972, 1975. Yeah, these were actually the basic pigeons. We are when you go further up in the in the pedigrees. Mm -hmm. You still see these pigeons coming up. Yeah. Um, then I had a, a bit luck to create three super pairings. I at first had uh, Goosey with Kirsten. Goosey was uh, the old Stan Rymarker strain. Right. Together with Kirsten from uh, Van Elzacker. Yeah. yeah. It was a fantastic pairing. Goosey was also a very good racer, uh, racing four times top 100 national, with the 16th national and 21st national. Uh, and that Kirsten was the uh, daughter from Castor, the main breeder from Van Elzak at that time. Yeah. And yeah. The first breeding pair. And then from my grandfather on, I had the old Van and Bosch lines from Willemans. So then yeah. we go back to the 60s. Huh? Uh, and that was my second pair, was the Goeie Donkere, together with Sterk. And Sterk, which means a strong one, um, she raced as a yearling hen over 8,000 price kilometers. Wow. As yeah. And I made these two together and they brought a full range of champion pigeons, ace pigeons, first prize winners, national ace pigeons also, direct children, grandchildren. Up till now, last year, the best pigeon in the PIPA ranking over seven national races was even a granddaughter from that pair. Wow. So that's yeah. like a gold golden line. You just keep breeding winners. It, it yeah, doesn't stop. Winners. Yeah. And then, of course, 2000, I fetched uh, Maurice. Mm -hmm. uh, a voucher for 25 euros <laughs> and <laughs> we need a little luck in there don't we <laughs> yeah it was a it was a lot it was a lottery it was a it was a lot in the lottery so and um i uh, bought this for 25 euros i picked a, i picked them out it was a basket of seven or eight pigeons and i could pick out two pigeons and i picked out maurice and he won 12 first prizes in two years wow <laughs> that's amazing hey you know what that's probably the best Feathers Elite Pigeon story we've heard this year on this show. 25 euros for Canadian people. That's what? That's $45 or $65. I mean, that's incredible. You picked it out. Yeah. 12 wins. Look, pat yourself on the back there, my friend. Yeah. You, you it was, picked also, them. was also the thing with Goosey. Eh? So Goosey also bought for 20 euro or 25 euro a voucher in the club mm -hmm. and also picked Goosey out. Okay. So, Leah, when, next time we go to, 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 to Belgium, I'm going to drag eddie along with me and we'll look in a basket and i'll say go pick them, my friend you pick them <laughs> yeah just have, to be, just have to be a little bit lucky yeah so hey hey you know you know you know eddie uh just to, to give you a break for a second because you're on fire here we can set up a tour where you take people around and you just pick them 25 euro pigeons and it's it's going to be crazy <laughs> go, yeah, go to the market, eh? you can you can buy there from the new market no problem so <laughs> yeah that's right the lear market okay so continue on i mean geez you're throwing seven different kinds of smoke here tonight go ahead yeah so i had maurice 12 times first and then 2002 i need to move to another loft i to another place and so the, my parents place was sold 
and I need to go to another place. Uh, so Maurice came into the breeding loft after winning the 12 first prizes. Huh? Um, and I bought him a hen uh, in the winter of 2002. He was from the Panther line from Verstrata. Mm. Oh, it was nice. It was actually the first line I brought together with Maurice, the old Panther line. And they were immediately successful with even, even a, a first reserve candidate Olympia pigeon. Right. What direct child from them. Yeah. And then um, 2007, I bought a granddaughter of Cannibal. Right, Cannibal, yeah. I paired her up with Maurice and then everything blew away. So that was actually the, the best pairing I ever made. And then all this this uh, this Maurice line, I crossed with the Gussie line and the Goya Donker line, and these yeah they brought all the champions and the national ace pigeons and and till now actually so it's still the same line which are all in the lofts. Wow, well I mean very you you you've had good lines, you've had some super good luck, good lucky moments, mm -hmm. and you cap you capitalized on them. Yeah, correct. Correct. You know, the only thing, the only thing I, I tried a lot of pigeons, new pigeons to bring in, mm -hmm. and mostly, mostly I always come back to my to my own strain. Yeah, they're they're, they're not your old strain. Uh, you, you know your old strain uh, forwards and backwards. Yeah, yeah, of course, of course, of course. Now, now what? And I also have to have to say, in the meantime, I sold all my breeders and my races two times. Huh? Yeah, I had an auction in two thousand. Uh, 2012, no, 2000, uh, yeah, 2012, uh, we, in China, which made uh, over 3,000 euro average. Wow. Yeah. Congratulations. Yeah. And uh, then I resold, when, when I moved to, the, to my new place, I resold again everything. So it's, it's, it's a good strain because I always kept the late breads to go further on with, with a few, few proven ones, but the late breads, they keep. They keep breeding third, fourth, fifth generation, sixth generation already. So, yeah, and 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 you know, uh, just switching gears here. Here in in especially in Canada, we have we have some people that have bought in birds from you, uh, and they get super results from your pigeons in the one lop races or in their in their combine. And you always hear the Grugian pigeons, the Grugian pigeons. And what I hear from you is, you've been able to, the birds are able to make you money when you sell them all out, but you keep the late breads. And the potency in that blood, it just keeps coming back, keeps yes. coming back. Right. It's like in, in five years from now, you could have another sellout again, and history will repeat itself. You're going to keep all the late breads again, and you'll be back on the top because the birds yep. you have are working. Correct. Correct. Now, now a question. When you bring a bird in, because your, your lines are pretty, they're potent, and you know what they can do, how quickly can you tell if a bird's going to work that you bring in? They need to tell uh, after one year. One year. Yeah, I give them one year. I, I, I try to to breed six youngsters from them for racing, mm -hmm. and then uh, when after the young bird racing, they still have a second chance in the yearling racing, and when it's not working, the full line goes away. The full line goes away. So, and if you see some sparks, some good performances, then you 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 stick with it, or does it have to be super? Well, then I stick with it because because then you have a chance to uh, when you repair or something you have a chance, but most of the time you see immediately it's working or not. Huh? But you have the young bird racing or the one loft racing like you do in Canada most I think most in the USA. Yep. Then yep. You, you have to see results in the one loft racing. I think it's it's something else because I don't like this this kind of of racers of racing yeah. because you don't have control yourself. Yeah, I agree with you. I 100% I agree with you. It, it's more of a, what do we say, a lucky holiday? Mm -hmm. It's more of a lucky holiday, right? I, in a pigeon, the pigeon loft, I like to have control, so, yeah. And, well, you know, it's, fun, it's funny, in speaking with uh, many other of our European breeders, a lot of them feel the same way that you do about one loft racing. Um, they, they don't really lean towards it because they don't have the control. Yeah, correct, correct, yeah. Yeah. But I, I can understand because there are a lot of countries um, who doesn't have the possibility to race like we do. Well, yeah, that's right. That's... Well, exactly. So, but, like, but the... I don't know. You're racing. You're racing in Canada, or, or or when you see the states or something. Then, yeah. Also, with us, it's different. A lot of Germans are competing in these one-off races because they don't have the possibility to have the races 
they have mountains, they have everything, they have so many things to, to take care of. And what's the difference between winning or losing? Eh? So. Yeah, but but it's amazing to see how, uh, why, why I wanted you to be here at Feathers Elite is North America right now is on a craze of one-loft races. There's probably 60 of them in North America. And your birds are always needing to adapt to whatever the one-loft man is throwing at them. Your birds are up at the top. Mm -hmm. And that, you know, again, that's uh, to what your family can do. Your family has that resilience, the health. They, they make it to the end. And when the money's down, Eddie Grugge and Pigeons show up. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're, like, they're, like, they're like checkbooks. I have to say also that, that four years ago, I had the third, the third uh, place in the final race on the Algarve, Algarve Golden, Golden Derby. Yeah. Yep. Uh, in uh, the last race in the Belgian Master Law and Loft race, I was 11 and 12. Only three pigeons in the race, 11 and 12 in the final. And, I, and last year in the Algarve, not 2019, I had two, two pigeons in the top 60. Yeah, and that, that's what we say. Your, your, your birds are finding a way to make it at the ends where the money's down. They're, they're excellent pigeons. These birds, these nine lots that we're going to look at here in a second are absolutely super nice pigeons uh there's some that just mind blow me away i'll be honest but uh excellent excellent family you've built and you, i love the success rate and i love that you've been able to sell out start back up with those late breads and they keep producing winners that tells you uh people listening how prepotent this blood is you just need a little bit of it and you'll see what happens trust me no, it's also what you see in Canada and the States. A few people, only a few people have my pigeons, but they're all winning with. So it's, it's, a, yeah, I, I exactly. Think, sometimes I think myself is a little bit crazy, you know, <laughs> but they're well, also crossbreeding. Huh? So, yeah. Yeah. Now, now, um, yeah, for crossbreeding, I know these birds are impact pigeons. I know these nine lots are going to put, they're going to make somebody's day because I know somebody's going to buy one of these birds. They're going to pair it up. We'll not hear about it. It'll go to a one-off race. And, oh, there's a $50,000 winner right there. And another check written by Eddie Grugis. <laughs> so, Simple like that. <laughs> Lee, are you ready to start showing these lots? I yeah, of course. Am ready. Yes, let's get into them, guys. I just want to remind you, where do you go to bed? FeathersLeaguePigeonAuctions.com. This auction closes this evening. At 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern time, we're going to start with lot number one. I'm going to bring up the photo of lot one right here. If you guys have any questions for Eddie with regards to any of the lots we are going to show, please put them in the comments below, and I will do my best to ask. Ryan, read the band number on lot number one, please. All right. Lot number one, Belgium 19, 6197, 446. A real nice, tight little blue bar hen. A blue bar hen. This is an original Eddie Grugens, a direct child of the new foundation couple 39 and the 108. This is daughter 39. Ryan, let's talk about lot number one. All right. She's a nice hen. She's a little nervous in the hands. About a finger half keel to the vent. Nice muscle on the hen. You feel a little bit of the keel. Nice tight forearm. Feather quality is super. Her back is strong. She fishes around a little bit. Just a little nervous in the hands. Real sharp looking face, a lot of fight to this hen. Nice third bar, I like. Nice wing. And she's got some fight. You see, she's a little uneasy in the hands. There's a lot of a lot of pressure for this hen right now in front of the camera. But look at the nice third bar. Gorgeous hen. Eddie, what's the rundown on her? What do the people need to know about this hen? Um, the father is um is 39. I think it's my actual foundation breeder. Um, it's the, the, the very good, you, you see in the pedigree, when you go to the pedigree, you see the Lichte Cannibal from 2000, and we talk about 20 years back also, yeah. Um, Lichte Cannibal is a uh, son of Cannibal, Dirk van Dijk, and I bought the father from the son from Lichte Cannibal, the Phenomenale Cannibal, is a grandson from two national ace pigeons KBDB, and a super breeder, was actually a super, super breeder. As a grandmother, you see Lana, which going back to the old Goosey lines from 94. Yeah? Lana was a super racer um, on the nationals. And they bred uh, 39, which is moment, at the moment my actual foundation breeder. Um, and uh, I think 
all, all, everything everything from aloft at the moment uh, quite some pigeons are coming from this 39 line crossed with morris line of course huh? right uh, the model is paco pox and this paco pox is uh, my new foundation hen i'm 100 percent sure about this um she's now breeding for the second year and last year in holland um i gave uh, some pigeons to a friend in holland and last year in holland i gave two pigeons two top 10 racers already last year in the first year breeding she did so uh where you gone this this going back to the old paco lines uh Paco, the father of uh, Paco Sunshine 9, National Ace Pigeon KBDB. The father is 709, which was sold in uh, in Canada. I think he's still in Canada, this uh, this pigeon. Yeah. He... And he's bred from Paco to, with uh, with his own daughter, Paco Sunshine 9, National Ace Pigeon KBDB, together with uh, half-sister Pox 615. And she's also an actual uh, foundation breeding hen, the 615. Well, I'm going to tell you, as she calms down, she's nicer and nicer. It's all the best from a loft uh, combined in one pigeon. There you hear it, Leah. And the feather quality is great on her. Good muscle. She's slightly just popping out of her shirt a little bit. Nice, nice and buoyancy. The buoyancy on this pigeon, the vents are nice and strong. Uh, and all the best from Eddie. You hear it right from his mouth. These are the pigeons. If he sold out, these pigeons, he'd have no problem going back to business with them. And they're going to produce winners right from the word go beautiful hand lot number one also this father is 2009 is now with the six youngsters in the nest so this for 2020 uh, yeah. 2021 already six youngsters six youngsters already yeah 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 and and that tells you the health of the breeders uh beautiful wing on her nice hand i like her a lot gorgeous 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 leah where do you go to bid where do you go to bed? Feathers Elite Pigeon Auctions.com. This auction again closes tonight at 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time. We're going to move on to lot number two in the Eddie Grugens online auction. Ryan, read the band number, please. All right. Belgium 2020, 6129769. Nine. Another smoky blue hen. This is an original Eddie Grugens with Leo Hermans, the best crossing of the old Maurice bloodlines with the super strain of Leo Hermans. Father is original Leo Hermans Warsalar, grandson of superstar 198 Bolt. This is Maurice Bolta. Let's talk a little bit about lot number two. Uh, medium length hen. She's strong, good muscle, about a finger and a half peel to the vent. The vents are strong. They're touching. She's real sharp looking in the face. The feather quality is super medium strong in the forearm, not overly tight, not overly loose. She had a good bath today, so she's still just a little bit damp. Okay. But uh, she's a sharp looking hen, real nice, rich eye. Eddie, give us the rundown on this hen. I know this hen very well because <laughs> I handled her many times. Um, this is one of my new my new crossings I made. I bought in the total auction of Leo Hermans the new bolt, um, and the new bolt was immediately the father from my best young cock in 2019 on the on the short distance races. Huh? Um, for this uh, 2020 I paired her up with Pythaline, um, which is um, a daughter from my uh, actual from my 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 foundation pair 2011 Blackjack Maurice, son of Maurice with that sister blackjack that granddaughter uh, cannibal yeah and then with maurice the mealy hen uh Elin, which is far mother of the super mealy and mother of many uh first prize races i uh, races in my loft um yeah before i sold her so yeah but despite Elin is also a very good um a very good breeding hen so i think uh, this is one of my best crossings uh, i did uh, the, in the last few years she's a very nice hen She's strong, good muscle, buoyancy again. Not, not a heavy pigeon. They had a little extra weight there. We, we've had some cold weather. They put on a little weight. We backed them off. The weight come off them nice. These birds are, are feeling super buoyant. Feather quality is excellent. The eye sign's real sharp. This is one looker. Look at the look at the green on her neck. Look at the health in her. Wow. What a super hen. Lot number two is. Wow. Uh, we had a question Oop, brian's camera oh, just sorry, uh, decided to do something weird but in the meantime we had a question from augustino oliveria and i believe he is asking if we can ship these birds to portugal 
Unfortunately, we, we can't ship them to Portugal, but I'm sure if you contact Eddie, he would be happy to maybe provide something for you or you can speak with him about it. Um, if you contact Eddie directly, I'm sure he would be willing to do that. These birds are in North America now and uh, they will be shipped out throughout North America. At the moment, we are not shipping birds back to Europe. But for everybody here so, in North America, where do you go to bid? No Featherleafpigeonauctions.com. No yeah. And Eddie says, no problem, but, right? That this no, no, no we can. I, I have weekly, weekly shipments to Portugal. That's no problem. Yeah. There we go. Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> we are going to move on to lot number three. Read the band number, please, on lot number three. Here's my girlfriend. Belgium yeah. 19, 6250314. Beautiful uh, blue, almost a pencil hen. What a gorgeous hen this is. This is an original Eddie Grugens with Danny Van Dyke, half sister of Robbie, the new foundation breeder and winner of 10 times first prizes. This is Maurice Fighter. Let's talk about lot number three. This pigeon is absolutely awesome. When you take her out of the widowhood crate, She's buoyant. She blows up nice. She gets like basket ready, I call it. Super nice hen. Gorgeous feathers. I love the thick bars. Forearm, not super tight, not super loose. Very, very nice. Not an overly big hen. The last three flights line up. Bang, right on like cherries in a tree. Can you She's just hold super... her hold her up, up a little more, Ryan, for me, please? Up, up, Sorry. hold her up. Up a little higher. There we go. Perfect. Right there. Okay. Thanks. Look at the last three flights. Great ventilation. She's got the fight. You see the kick, the snap. This one's got it. This hen is absolutely a showstopper. I'm drooling. If you if you guys are looking for that special hen, this one right here, I promise you, is going to do something. I just have a feeling. She's gorgeous. The bars are thick. They're dark. The muscle, the buoyancy, everything is a 10 plus plus. Definitely one of my picks here in the sale. Eddie, I know you want to talk about this hen very much. Go ahead. You see uh, another crossing I made with the Danny Van Dyke pigeons. Um, um, I first talk a little bit about the mother. The mother is the daughter of Fighter. Fighter is the grandfather of Canon, and grand Fighter is the grandfather of um, Danny Van Dyke's 11, so the, the national ace pigeons. There's a little story about these two pigeons from Danny van Dyke, Eleven and uh, and Canon. They are very well known in the world, of course. These two pigeons. Mm -hmm. And it was uh, 2009. I won the third national ace pigeon KBDB middle distance with youngsters. Canon was fourth national ace pigeon KBDB, and uh, Eleven was fifth national ace pigeon KBDB. So I I, I had to, uh, yeah I was number three. They were number four, number five. So that was a little bit of difference. With Warriors Diamonds, I won the third national ace pigeon championship. So, and then I uh, I went back to Danny Van Dyke, mother is from 2013, and bought from this train um, this beautiful uh, mother. But then we come again to the father, and I will show you the father. This is Ace 402. <laughs> 21st, 20, 21 races, 21 prizes as a youngster. Yeah. Uh, of Maurice with a cannibal hen with a blackjack hen. It's a fantastic cock. Oh yeah. Eddie, I all I'm seeing is super qualities here, my friend. That pigeon, when he looks at you in the loft, he don't look at you. He looks right through you. You can see it he, in him. Gorgeous looks, looking face. Yeah. Super pigeon. Wow. Beautiful. Wow. Beautiful. There, there's quality right there. You're seeing it. As a youngster, 21 races, 21 prizes. That's incredible. And he's the father of Robert. He's uh, 2012. He's in a fantastic condition, you can see. Yeah, he's nice. He looks good. How is he? A larger bird? Medium size? He's a medium sized bird, a long size, a long pigeon. Yeah. Medium size, but so nervous. Unbelievable character, this pigeon. He's also. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Stunning. I show you now his son. I will take Robert out of the basket. Yes, that okay. would be great. Guys, Feathers Elite Pigeon Auctions, we're bringing this to you. Do you Leah, did you see the character in that pigeon? Yeah, stunning. <laughs> Amazing. It, it's it's absolutely stunning. You see the characters here in these pigeons. Look at the nice thick bars, just like the father. 
absolutely extraordinary. Now we're gonna see. Oh boy, look at this! Oh wow! Look at this! Ten first prizes in two years. Wow! I'm gonna come over Eddie to visit you <laughs> after Corona. Yeah. <laughs> Wow, super quality again. You just see it. Look at the look at the sharp looking face, the nice eye. Lots of fight. Wow, look at the waddle on him. Super. Nice thick, nice thick bars. You see you see the same. Look at the bars. People, if you're watching at home, they look identical. Yeah. The yeah. bars are the same. Look at the, the wing we need for, for the races. This is the best the best wing. Look, look, look at the wing here. Look at the flights. Same way. Same. Same bars. Same quality. This hen is a super hen. It's now sitting also on the 60 youngsters this year already. This one. Six youngsters. Wow. Third round. Third look round. Look at the health. The bird doesn't look like he's working one bit. No, oh, very strong. Very strong. Very strong. Thank you, Eddie. I mean, those two pigeons are nothing but character. You see it. And go back, people, if you're watching this, and look at the backs. Look at the bars on the backs. Look, look at how they match up to the father and the brother. Your lot number three. Super. Where do you guys go to bid? FeathersLeafPigeonAuctions.com. This auction closes tonight at 8 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, which is New York time. We're going to move on to lot number four. Read the band number, please, Ryan. All right, Belgium 2019, 6250320. Beautiful blue white flight cock with just a little white on his face. What a gorgeous cock this guy is. This is an original Eddie Grugens with Leo Herman's half brother to shut. Daruki, I probably said that wrong, as well half brother to Heidi, who is first ace pigeon. This is thirty nine Leo. Let's talk a little bit about lot number four. I don't have to say much about him. He says everything in your hands. That three second rule, he's perfect. He's a little bigger, a little longer, a little bit deeper, but he's perfect. He feels just like a speedboat man. He's gorgeous in the hands. The forearm is nice and tight. The wing snaps tight. Nice big, big, big wing on him. Look at the nice butter knife flights on him. Beautiful wing. Strong, muscular, one pin tail. Vents are like steel. A little bit open the vents, but real nice. Look at how nice and strong the back is. I don't have to open the legs on the bird and do a chicken wing on him. We're not doing that, but you see the character, the piding. Uh-oh, and Eddie's got somebody else there. Look at the backs on them. They're identical. Peas in a pot, Eddie. <laughs> This is the what father. do you got there? That's the, the father. Yeah. This is um, <clears throat> Psalm 39. 2010. His father from the first national ace pigeon in Holland, MPO, uh, for Johan and Hartog. It's, uh, she's called uh, Heidi. Right. Um, his father to Chateauke. His father to many first prize winners. And to a lot of uh, good breeders in my loft. So uh, a lot of direct children from him are, I think, seven direct children from him are in the breeding loft right now. Wow. He's a little bigger pigeon as well, isn't he? No, he's very small. Small? He's very small, yeah. yeah, yeah. Now, this guy here, he's a little longer cast, a little bit longer of a pigeon, but great Medi muscle. He's medium size, but he's a very back strong, very back, very strong back, very strong pigeon. Yeah, you can see. 10 years old, huh? 10 years old. Take a look at his son. Same way. Look at the nice pigmentation on those flights. Beautiful wings. This pigmentation, it's all Maurice like. It's coming back already till fifth, sixth generation already. Oh, look, look at that up there, right where your thumb is. Look at the feathering there. Hey, eh? look at how nice and dark, dark it all is. Super pigeons. You see the character in these breeders. He's how old? 10 years old? 10 years old fantastic condition look 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 at the sun popping right out of it just just muscle 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 buoyancy not heavy super character and they have the same look and face you'll see this cock whoever gets this cock at 10 years old you'll watch that video and you'll say peas in a pot exactly the same look at that you one he's a one-hander wow look at that <laughs> look come on eddie's showing off now 
<laughs> put on a show for us tonight on a Friday night. What else can you ask for? Feathers of Leaf Pigeon Auctions. Man, I, I can't leave. I have to get here to handle this. Have a look. Look at this. Oh, my God. E Eddie, Eddie, pour Sleep. yourself a drink, my friend. He's sleeping. He's That's sleeping. amazing. <laughs> Where do you guys go to this? <laughs> Feathers Pigeon Auctions .com. Remind everybody again, this auction closes tonight at 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time. We are going to move on to lot number five, a very special pigeon this is. Read the band over, please. All right, here we go. Lot number five, Belgium 2026, 129431. Big, beautiful blue cock. A blue bar cock, original Eddie Grugens with Gaston Van de Wauer, direct child of super breeders Numeris and Casbarin. Brother to Golden Heidi. This is Brother Golden Heidi. Let's talk about lot number five. All right. He's a little bit bigger of a pigeon. There's a little more body to him. He's not, he's still buoyant, but not as buoyant as the last two. Uh, about a finger and a half kilt at event. Events are strong, but just a little bit open. Forearm, medium tight, feather quality. On all these birds, the feather quality is absolutely super soft, silky. Nice big, big, big wing on the guy. Take a look at it. Strong back. He's one pin tail. Again, we're not doing the chicken wing and spreading the legs. Doesn't do that. Don't do much for me. But the bird has nice character. Big, strong, strapping man. This guy is. I know, Eddie, this is one of your favorites in the sale. This, is the, about him. this is the favorite. Well, yeah, yeah. You know it is this um he's a full brother the golden heidi was crowned now uh, 2021 he was she was crowned for johan and hartog for third olympiad pigeon from holland after winning uh second national ace pigeon npo in 2019 and third national ace pigeon npo in 2020. Uh, golden heidi was bred by myself and was given for free to my friend uh, johan and hartog in holland yeah ah. i show you the father this is the new maurice Son of Maurice, one of the last ones ever born, is a super breeder. His father from a 61st national, a 75th national from Golden Heidi, from a lot of winners in my loft also. He just had one problem. He is uh, very injured in the wing, as you can see. Oh, oh wow. What he, happened? His wing was broken. He broke his wing? He broke his wing, yeah. Yeah. Aww. So but, uh, that's no problem for breeding. So that's uh, no yeah. problem. Yeah. <laughs> How old oh, is he, super. Eddie? He's uh, 2012. This is one of the last things of Maurice. Wow. Beautiful. Look at him. He's, see that super, super eye on him, boy. What a nice character pigeon that is. And this, Beautiful. this 431 is a full brother of Golden Heidi. This is also one of the crossings I made with the uh, very successful Kaasboer line. The mother is a granddaughter of Kaasboer from Gaston van der Bauer. But here we go again. Old uh, Morris line, this uh, winners, this line of winners from uh, yeah six, seven generations already. Huh? Yeah, S super quality, strong box. You can see the character in the bird. Oh yeah, you see his wing. <laughs> oh, Poor wow. guy's wing. Yeah, it's um, it's standing open. Huh? So yeah, wow. nice. This pigeon is very nice. Another one, boy. Oh, balance. I, you know, you know what? This balance. is this is balance. I might see Eddie one day in Las Vegas doing these tricks here. Uh, no, but you know what? That's the confidence. This is what we say. Look at this. This is a world-class breeder. World-class breeder right here in front of me. Strong back, one pin tail. Look, there it is. Same way. Strong in the back. Nice pigeons. Character in the face. Look at the nice, rich, rich eye. Yeah, Father-like son. Beautiful. It's a typical Morris eye, this one. Yeah, well, it looks super from here. I mean, and we're looking at camera, camera, uh, uh, computer cameras, and, and you can see how rich it is. Outstanding. Ladies and gentlemen, remember this lot here, lot number five. This is Eddie's golden pick. Golden pick from Eddie Grugens himself. Lot number five. This is the one he's going to tell you. Don't hold back on. Break open the piggy bank. Lot it's, number it's, five. It's, a, it's one of the opportunities to buy a direct brother from Olympiad Pigeon in Holland 2021. 
There you go. Where do you guys go to bid? Feathers Elite Pigeon Auctions.com. Auction closes tonight at 8 o'clock Eastern Time. We're going to move on to lot number six. Beautiful blue bar cock. Ryan, read the banner, please. <clears throat> All right. Belgian 2018 6217 757. A blue bar cock. What an awesome cock this is. Take it away, Leah. This is an original Eddie Grugens with Stickers Donkers, a direct child of Super Mealy. This is Golden Super Mealy. Let's talk a little bit about lot number six. Well, in all the birds in the sale, if you want the pigeon that's chiseled out of granite, he's got muscles on his eyes, he's built perfect, he's like a steel crowbar, not too big, not too small, nice wide, he's got shoulders like a linebacker, but the can see the the forearm is tight. A pigeon that I would not not pass up is this cockbird right here. He's absolutely perfect, 100 out of 100. You will not go wrong. Trust me, this cock will make you sit back in your seat and go, whoa, he's that nice. Eddie, take it away on this guy. He's my favorite in the sale. I'm going to be honest with you. This is my guy. Yeah. The mother is also very special. Also, crossing I made with stickers donkers. Um, the mother was a fantastic breeding and in Holland, and I bought her from my loft. She was mother to a third against 5,000 pigeons, a fourth against 5,000 pigeons, several top 10 winners against thousands of pigeons. And what I did, I crossed her to this uh, Super Mealy, 2012. Also, you see also the balance of this pigeon. I, I, can, I can do it also. Eh? You see? <laughs> I can do it with every pigeon I have. Huh? That's no problem. Huh? Wow. wow he's got they got the balance i i just see the character the cocks you're bringing out it's one after the other they're peas in a pot look at the eye on this whole jump and i feel like i'm at tiffany's looking at diamonds beautiful Be absolutely beautiful look at the quality man oh man look at the pigmentation look at the flights butter knife they look gorgeous the birds balance this this guy's my favorite and and i'll tell you i'm a i'm a sucker for mealies he i would be in love with him on the super with uh, a remarkable story also also 2012 condition is uh, fantastic also so i uh, this super mealy i uh he won as a youngster 108 national on 620 kilometers um against uh, 16,000 pigeons and an eight provincial on Salbri on a 500 kilometer race. And as a yearling, he was, uh, he was a good pigeon, was nothing special until I went with him to a 650 kilometer race and he won 58 national. One week wow. later, we had a 700 kilometer race and he won the 61st national. Then after that year, I went him to my new place. I went him over to a totally different place and I put him again on the, on the national uh, tool, and he won again 98 national. And he was the 11th best tool bird over two years national on the PIBA rankings. So I'm going to break this down for our North American uh, people here. You took this bird and raced him at your first place, and he did extremely well when you took him out a little further. Then yeah. you moved. Then you moved. You took the bird to a new loft, new location, and you broke him, and he did it again. Did it again, yeah, yeah. Now that means the shit between their ears is real damn good. Smart, good pigeons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These are super pigeons. And we keep asking, why do these pigeons win? They have it. They have the balance. You see the balance, the ones that he's holding, the balance, the muscle, the character. But then he shows you by doing this little trick of moving the pigeon, they're smart pigeons. Smart pigeons. Look at the character in this pigeon. Eddie, I'm coming to buy that cockbird. Leah, I need some money. Not for sale. <laughs> Not for sale. <laughs> no, but that's okay. I see the character. These two are like peas in a pod. Wow. Wow and wow. Super, super pigeons. Wow. Oh, Beautiful. Where do you guys go, go to bid? FeathersLeafPigeonAuctions.com. Ryan, if the mic, mic cuts out, you're on your own. Hopefully it doesn't. We're going to move on to lot number seven. All right. Three to go. Blue bar pen. Ryan's just going to grab her. And read All the right. band number, please, Ryan. 
Here we go. Belgium 2018, 6217770. Small little blue bar hen. This is an original Eddie Grusians, daughter of top breeder Super Mealy, and also half sister to Robbie. This is Super Warrior. Let's talk about lot seven. Very nice hen, strong, not too big, not too small. Good muscle on her. Forearm, nice. She's real tight in this forearm. Good vibration through the hen. Beautiful wing on her. Soft, silky feathers. The back is strong. The vents are maybe a crack open, but they're nice, they're strong. They're not weak. She got a lot of fight to her. She feels the camera pressure just a little bit. And you see, take a look. Look at the balance. Look at the control. Super, super nice hen this is. Wow. I know Eddie's going to have a lot to say about this hen. Yeah, this is a special hen I selected specially for the auction, um, Ryan. Mm -hmm. Be honest, because uh, this is this is normally a picture which you cannot buy in my loft. When you come over with people, with clients, or you come over yourself, you say, "I want to buy that hen in your loft." I don't sell, never. But for your for the auction, we need to do always uh, some special things, and this is one of the specialties I uh, I gave for the auction. Yeah. This uh, new Warriors Diamond, she, um, uh, she's a full sister of Warriors Diamond, uh, third national ace pigeon KBDB. And I crossed this with the super lines of that super melee I just showed. So this one is also uh, half sister to, uh, to Robbe. Yeah. So 10 times first price. Outstanding. Probably the same eye as Robbe. When you have a look on the eye, also white eye, I think, yeah. Yeah, same same eye. Good same. muscle, not not a big hen, this one at all. She's real oh. compact. Yeah, correct, she's, she's a type of a mother. Also, the Super Mealy is a very compact pigeon, a very uh, small, very muscled uh, pigeon. So, and this is the same type, this is more the type of the mother, yeah. But another time, normally I don't sell hands like Eddie, this Eddie, because look, look. I, need this, I need this pigeons for my bridge for my breeding loft look yeah i know oh look <laughs> you're Eddie. also you're also a magician I, yeah hey i'm not a magician these are your birds ladies and gentlemen <laughs> you can do it the same as these the quality is here at feathers elite pigeon auctions eddie you took the time to select them i like what you've selected quality is super man this hen here you could put onto some of these cocks no problem she's a real stunner this hen Yep. Cool. Where do you guys go to bed? FeathersLeapPigeonAuctions.com. We're going to move on to lot number eight. Just pull the photo up here. And read the band number, please, Ryan. Belgium 2020, 624 Beautiful blue big hen. I think this is a big large hen. This is an original Eddie Grugens with Guy van der Auer, uh, brother to the 525 and a super inbreed to Gaston van der Auer's icon, Casbor. This is Impact Casbor. Let's talk a little bit about lot number eight. All right. A large hen. She's definitely large. I mean, you wouldn't think it when you handle her. You'd think it's a cock, but she's buoyant for her size. Her vents are definitely a bit open. They're open. Medium loose forearm, not overly tight. Nice snap to that wing. Big wing on this hen, real, real big, big, large. Uh, the back one pin tail comes up just a little bit, but uh, some of the weights come off her, and she's just she's starting to feel real super. And nice feather and good loads of muscle to work with this pigeon. Eddie, talk about her. This is also one of these breedings, these crossings with uh, the Kasbur line from uh, this one from Guy van der Auer. Uh, last year, first year breeding, uh, full uh, brother of this pigeon. Um, won uh, last year, the um, first in Holland against uh, 2,500 pigeons. Was the first breeding I had from this, uh, from this cock actually. Um, and yeah, this one I have again. Yeah. This is the father of the cock. Oh yeah, look at him. He's almost like a, a chocolate, eh? This is the father. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Look at the head. It looks ju just look just look like the the dirt. the faces look identical. Look at the round head on him. Holy jumping. 
This is a son of a grandson of Pox. Second national ace pigeon, KBDB, is a, is a very nervous pigeon. He won um, in my, uh, my old place the two last races I had. This cock won two times the first prize in Antwerp Union against the 1,800 pigeons and the first against 1,600 pigeons. Well, yeah, they got the same looking faces. In the Antwerp Union, so. Beautiful wing on them. They have the, they have the same wings. And I'll tell you, she's a larger hen, but she has the buoyancy. The is buoyancy a big, is, is a coming big to her. He's a big, big cock. Yeah. Well, she's a she's a large hen, but she feels right. Again, super balanced, strong, gorgeous pigeons. This is actually the the line of pox, and the pox pox was a very big pigeon. He was second national ace pigeon KBDB, but he was a very big pigeon. Yeah, and this is actually the the, the same line, same breeding line. So. Wow. Look at this, guys. Where do you guys go to bid, Leah? Feathers Elite Pigeon Auctions dot com. Auction closes tonight at 8 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. We're going to move on to our final lot of the evening, lot number nine. That's my favorite number, lot number nine. Here we go, lot number nine, Belgium, 2026-2295. Sorry, Ryan, my laptop just decided to crap out. Okay, this is an original Eddie Grugens, grandson of Foundation Cock 39. This is Heidi, 95. Let's talk a little bit about lot number nine. Not an overly big pigeon, a little bit deeper. Finger kilt at a vent. The vents are open a little bit. Strong, strong form. Nice, soft, silky feathers. I love the third bar on this guy here. You can really see it. Look at the pigmentation up here by the thumbs. Nice, strong wing. Nice, balanced pigeon. He's a strong pigeon. Sharp in the face. Back is strong. There he is. Look at the third bars on him. They just stick out like a sore thumb. Eddie, take it away. Yeah. This is also, again, from uh, a brother from uh, from Heidi, the second national ace pigeon MPO for uh, Johan and Hartog. So we come again to the 39 line. Uh, <clears throat> and this is the grandfather. Uh -huh. I showed before. Yep. The super breeder, yeah. Mm -hmm. it's a very strong inbreed. The, the mother is the daughter of a 39, and the father is brother Heidi, which is a grandson from 39. And then we cross these pigeons again with Paco, with Paco, and with um, with the cannibal lines. Yeah, and you see that? You see on that cock you're holding that, the third bar. You see it right on this guy. You see the lines. It's typical, typical of my pigeons, sir, right? <laughs> And yeah, look look where the thumb is. Look where the thumb is on this guy. Look at all the pigmentation in here. Look at the look at the coloring. Yeah. And you you see people say, oh, you got to use DNA. Look at the DNA. Is, take a look. Look at the peas in the pod. They're all the same. Chiseled out of steel. Leah, Eddie's bringing it tonight. Look at that. Incredible. That's why we like to do these shows because Some, we like uh, our. our the son, the son is a yellow eye, so yeah. yeah. We like our buyers to see the, the, the similarities in the birds that we're selling here and the actual breeders themselves. Where do you guys go to bid? Feathersleafpigeonauctions.com. Auction closes tonight at 8 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. So you guys still have a couple hours to head on over to our website. Take a look at the lots, take a look at the videos, take a look at the photos, take a look at the write-ups, and make your informed bids. Go ahead, Ryan. Eddie, before we wrap this up, normally I make the selections of my picks. But tonight we're going to change it up because it's Friday and you've come on here on a Friday evening and we appreciate that. Your three picks in this sale. What are your three picks? I uh, will have a short look, a little moment. Because I don't know the, the 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 numbers exactly. Okay, no, that's not a problem. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, this auction closes tonight, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard, Northern Pacific Time. That means New York time. All bids are Canadian dollars. Yes, American buyers. All bids are in Canadian dollars. It's a win for you. Did I mention my first US... pick? Uh, sorry. Go go ahead. Go with your picks. My first pick is lot number seven. Lot number seven. 
from Eddie. Number nine. Mm -hmm. And lot number five. So five, seven, and nine, all, all opposite numbers or all, what, uh, no, what do we call it? Not all, uh, even, 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 all even numbers. That's Those are the picks. The lottery winners. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, wait, well, Joel, people, don't go out and buy those numbers because remember <laughs> when he when he dipped in the tank and bought the 25-year-old pigeons, it just produced winners. Go out and buy those lottery tickets. We're going to have a bunch of winners tonight. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You know, we really <laughs> appreciate, Eddie, you taking the time. I know you've had a long day, and it's very late there uh, where no you problem. are. And, and we really do appreciate you taking the time to not only talk to us, but to talk to potential buyers of course um, of your pigeons and uh just we're gonna maybe just end off with if you if there's anything that you want potential buyers to know about your pigeons what is it i want to say to the potential buyers that i'm um, i made a special pick um for this auction um ryan had to ask me many 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 times to yes. uh to <laughs> To I twisted his arm. I twisted it. It's Bernie Bernard. He's winning all the money, and he's the only guy that has your pigeons. So I got to get your pigeons here yeah. so yeah, somebody yeah. can beat Bernie. You know, I, I'm not. I'm not very, very commercial. Uh, I'm not very commercial. Loft. I'm not. Um, I, uh, yeah. I um. I like to sell a pigeon. That's not a problem. But but um, yeah, I'm not. I'm not commercial. I, I'm. I'm no have a website. Uh, pictures from the photos from the pigeons is is not all all fixed. So uh, yeah. But um, it's, um, it's it's an honor for me to to have an auction on Feathers Elite. That uh, that that's that's for sure. And I hope the buyers will have a lot of uh, a lot of success with these pigeons. And I'm sure. And I'm also assured. I'm I'm I'm, I'm guaranteed that um, something happens with one of the pigeons, or something pigeon gets sick, or you never know what's happening in in the, in the few days when you pair up or something. They're always guaranteed, and uh, for other ones to change, yeah, that's no problem. And maybe I don't know it's done, but I want to give also a free pigeon to the highest bidder on the auction. Wow! 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 Well, that's a first. For the next shipment, I give uh, one pigeon for free. <laughs> I pick up myself for the highest bidder on the auction. Wow. Absolutely. You know what, Eddie? Yeah. Your first class in my book. Uh, when I come to Belgium after Corona. Uh, we'll bring a case of Corona beer for you anyways, but we're going to sit down. We'll have some drinks. We'll maybe talk again. Yeah. Uh, your first class, uh, I know I had to twist your arm to get these birds here. I wanted the birds here. I know these pigeons impact very well in North America, as they do all over the world, as they've done for generations to generations in your own loft. And I want to thank you for doing that. I want to thank you for offering uh, 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 a, a, a pigeon to the highest bidder. I am going to also offer on behalf of Feathers Laurentine Services, we will import the pigeon in for free and ship it to uh, the highest bidder, free, absolutely free. First class right here, I got goosebumps. I'm feeling so good. No problem, no problem. Thank you very, very much. I hope I hope the, the buyers can appreciate, so huh? let's hope. Uh, we know, I know they will. Perfect. <sighs> Leah? What I think else? that's it from us. We're going to let Eddie get some much needed sleep. I'm sure we want to thank you again, Eddie. Really, it's it's been a great chat. Lovely breeders you have and yes. an absolute that's super nice. selection that you have sent to Feathers Elite. I'm going to say it one more time. Where do you guys go to bid? FeathersElitePigeonAuctions.com. This auction closes tonight at 8 o'clock Eastern time. Still got two hours on the clock, guys, to head on over to our website. Do your research and make your informed bids. Ryan, I'm going to let you close off. You heard it from the man himself. If you have a little bit of extra money to play with, take lot five, lot seven, and lot nine. Hey, and if you're a gambling man, buy all nine. You will not regret it. History has repeated itself for generations for the Grugin family there. These birds win, win, win. They're going to do it again. Eddie, thank you for that. Everything tonight, your first class. Go get some rest, and we'll uh, we'll talk again, my friend. Good luck to the buyers and good luck with the auctions. Thank, Thank you. you. Perfect. Bye bye. Thank you, Eddie. Bye bye.